It is strawberry season in Florida and I snagged three flats of plump red beauties at the strawberry festival this weekend. They were perfect for Joanna Gaines' strawberry jam. Place the jars into a large pot, submerge it in water and bring it to a boil. Wash the rings and lids in warm soapy water and dry. Clean the berries under running water. Hull and slice. Now my bed feels just like In a blender, pulse five to six times the desired consistency. Transfer to a large saucepan and add pectin. Bring this to a boil for about a minute. Add butter and sugar and stir. Bring to a rolling boil for about a minute and remove from heat immediately. It was a crooked little smile that caught my eye. Use the jar lifter and remove the jars from the large pot. Using a funnel, pour the hot jam into each jar. But she left me Wipe off the rims and sides of jars. Place the lids and screw the rings on, tightening them by hand. Jars could be hot, so use a hand towel to hold them. Place the jars inside the pot and bring the water to a boil and boil for about 10 minutes. Remove from the heat and let it stand for 5 minutes. Lift each jar and place these on the counter undisturbed for about 24 hours. After 24 hours, press the center of each jar to make sure that they are sealed properly. Remove the ring and remove the lid. If it doesn't budge, screw the ring back on. Label and enjoy. Whoa. The jam should be good for six months if stored in a dark and cool place. Once you open the jars, they will last for about two weeks if you haven't finished them all before then. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you did. The recipe is attached below.